G'day guys and welcome back to another video. I thought I'd change things up a little bit and uh, bring you onto the couch. Um, so let's talk about the best gun bag you can buy that's Australian made. So before we talk about the gun bag, let's have a chat about how this all came about. So end of last year, I was talking to a couple of mates of mine about things that I wanted to do content wise when it came into the new year in 2024. One of my friends who you've seen on the channel, Jeff, uh, Jeff the Shooter, Shooter Jeff, here's his little fucking Instagram tag down if you want to go and see him shoot competitions. Um, he mentioned that he bought a couple of gun bags from this company, Rugged Outdoors Canvas, and he reckons it was really, really good. He said, hit them up, they might give you a uh, little ammo holder. So I was like, you know what, I bloody will hit him up. So. I flicked him a, uh, a message and I said, hey man, I want to um, review some of your kit. And I'm thinking he's going to give me a little cartridge holder, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then he said, hey man, um, I like your channel. How about I make you a custom gun bag? And I went, well, that's pretty bloody good because of my 22 to 50 custom gun doesn't fucking fit in anything because it's too big. Now that has a 26 inch barrel in a chassis. It's fucking huge. It has bipods mounted M lock to the side of the forend. So it's quite wide as well, and it has a massive scope, so it's quite high. So it doesn't actually fit into any of the gun bags I've got, so I've kind of got to half jam it in and then wrap it up in a towel and do all other sorts of whack shit. So um, anyway, yeah, got myself a custom gun bag. So full disclosure, yes, they did send this custom gun bag and a cartridge holder for free. Um, however, I like it so much that I am going to go and buy another gun bag for my 22 custom gun which you guys probably haven't really seen yet. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic for another day. So that's the disclosure there. I did get this for free, but it's awesome. So I'm gonna go buy some stuff from them. This is the gun bag here. Now it's quite large, obviously, because of, um, you know, the size of the bloody gun. Look, it's obviously a bit plain on the outside. Now, I, I did put this on social media and some fucking idiot was like, oh, it's a bit plain and you know, it's not designer enough, um, like it's a fucking handbag or something. Um, look, it's a gun bag. You put guns in it, you fucking fruit. So on this side, we have a big bloody zip, um, which that is a bloody big pouch. You got the same thing on the other side. And then there's also um, some molly on there so you can add a pouch to it if you so desire. Let's say for instance, you wanted to, I don't know, have a little pouch for your bolt or I don't know, your fucking tampons. Now the zips are really nice. These are YKK zips. Listen to this. I know some people get all ooh about the sounds of bloody zips and things. Um, look, it even has Velcro. Oh, bet that feels nice for you. So the whole body outside is canvas, as you probably would have guessed from the name of the company, Rugged Outdoor Canvas, and it's water resistant. Now I did actually have this in the dog box of my ute. I had been out to the property shooting, uh, and as I was driving home, it absolutely fucking bucketed down. And it wasn't just a little storm, it was that ye big storm that uh, you know half the state lost bloody power. So um, it got pretty wet, but my gun stayed dry, which is fucking awesome. It's kind of what you want out of a gun bag, and you don't really get that with all those crappy ones you buy from the gun shop. Now on the inside, it's like a fleecy sort of, kind of fleece, I guess. Um, I don't actually know what the bloody hell that is, but I don't think it's wool. I'm not too sure, but it feels like wool, feels like fleece, but I think it might be actually synthetic. So it's actually really nice and soft on your guns. You're not gonna scratch anything. Like if you had just canvas on the inside, you might maybe scratch something like your muzzle as it's going in and out. I see that on guns sometimes where the muzzle bluing is worn away. Um, you wouldn't get that with this gun bag. Um, now, if there was one very minor gripe I would say with this is at the bottom here. So when you unzip it like that, perfectly fine. If you zip the zip in a little bit too far, and then you are trying to one-handed, like let's say you're pinching the bag close like that and you're trying to zip it up, it doesn't actually want to zip and the tail kind of comes out. Now, that's obviously not a big deal because you just hold it below the zip and then zip it up like a normal human. But if you're a bit of a tard like me, um, that you know can be an issue. 
because, you know, dick fingers. But um, I think the way to get around that maybe is just don't be retarded when you zip it up and or maybe they can just stitch the tail in and that would probably stop that from happening. But that's a very, very minor gripe for an awesome bag. Yeah, it even has a little D-ring on the top here so you can hang it up if you store your gun bags hung like most people do so they're not on the ground. Um, it's got a carry strap here, which obviously Velcros up. It's awesome, I love it. It's Australian made. It's just bloody fantastic. Now let's talk about this uh, cartridge case. So this here is the cartridge holder. It's a cool little fold up case. It has elastic around the outside. So it's kind of like a little wallet. You pull the elastic off and it unfolds. And then in there you have five cartridges. Now this is set up for short action cartridges. So at the moment I've got some 358 uh, in there. Now once again, it's canvas. Um, it's got elastic loops for your cartridges. Um, I believe he makes them in different sizes for different sizes of cartridges. So if you had magnums, you know, he'd make a magnum one, whatever, just let him know kind of what you want. And I'm sure he'd be able to custom make it for you. Yeah, so that's a handy dandy little thing because obviously you can put your cartridges in there and then you're not lugging around a full ammo box. Like a lot of us, even if we don't reload, a lot of us put it in a box um, and then you're lugging around a full box of 20 or 50. You only want to go for a day hunt. You want to take five cartridges because that's what your gun holds. You, you know, pull your ammo out of your lockbox, you put it in that, and then you can, you know, stuff it in your bag or lock it in your glove box or whatever, it doesn't take up much room. Get it to where you're going, pull the cartridges out, load your magazine, do your hunt, go home. Or, you know, you're out hunting and you have a full mag in your gun and you don't have a spare mag to have bombed up or you want to carry some spare cartridges because you, you know, are like me sometimes and you miss animals and then you got to re-bomb. Um, you can, you know, throw this in your pack and it's not going to take up much room. You can throw it in your pocket. You know, it's, it is quite small like that. So that is pretty cool. I would love if there was a version of this, if on that blank side, it held your um, firearms license and your hunting license. I think that would be pretty cool because everyone needs to carry them on them when they're in the hunt anyway. So if you have that with your ammunition, I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Um, so I don't know, maybe we can do that in the future. So yeah, that's the ammo holder. I think that's a pretty good bit of kit. Um, yeah, and that's what I thought I was gonna get and I got a bloody gun bag. So there you have it guys. There is my quick review of an awesome Australian made product. It is by far the best gun bag I have ever used or owned or even seen. And I'm not just saying that because he gave me the gun bag, I'm saying that because I genuinely think it is pretty bloody awesome. Um, now, as I said, I'm gonna go back to him and purchase one of my own with my own money because that's how good I think this product is. So in the subsequent videos, when you see me with my custom 22 out on the range, you're probably gonna send me ripping it out of a bag like that. So, his socials, um, he runs on Facebook and Instagram, so I'm gonna drop them in the description below. Um, this is what his logo looks like, so that way you can, when you look it up, you do make sure you find the right person. Go and give him a like. I'm not gonna give any pricing in this video because obviously things change, he might up his prices or bring down his prices <laughs> at the top. Hey, you fuckhead. So, at the time of recording, um, yeah, it would be incorrect of me to give you a price because it was probably gonna be changed by the time you actually go and order this. So, hope you got something out of that. Go and support small Australian businesses. I'll catch you next video and hooroo.